Hi folks, Glenn B. from ballseyeboomers.blogspot.com. What I've got here today is a brake top revolver. It's a uh, cute little thing, I've got to say. It's an Ivor Johnson safety automatic. Obviously it's not a semi-automatic nor is it an automatic, it's just a double action revolver and 22 caliber. It doesn't say whether it's 22 short, 22 long rifle, or 22 long, even. Uh, just that it's 22. I'm going to test fire it today. I uh, have not test fired it before. And what I'm going to try to do here is uh, load it up with seven rounds. So odd number for a revolver to take, but that's what it takes. It takes seven rounds. I'm loading it with uh, 22 short. I don't want to take a chance uh, that it can't fire a 22 long rifle. It was made uh, late enough that it is steel that will take high pressure rounds. Uh, I don't know about modern high pressure rounds such as super high velocity 22. I never shoot them out of my uh, most of my 22s anyway, uh, and I would never shoot them out of this one. I'd shoot standard velocity out of this possibly next. We'll see how it holds up here. I guess I can't count. According to the story, Jack. Okay. It was, uh, pretty good. I'm going to try that again. It's got the, this gun, uh, I have to say, looks like it's barely been fired. Um, it was quite the buy. I got a, uh, an online auction that was also part of a live auction. The online auction runs up until the last uh, hour or so before the live auction begins at the hessenyauctioncompany.com. And uh, I've got to say, it's it's in really, really nice shape. The metal, I would have to say, is about 98% uh, plus, except for a, a slight cylinder ring. That's it. Pretty sure that was all seven. There it goes. Right. I'm going to try that with 22 long rifle. Well, I said I wouldn't shoot the high velocity stuff out of this, but that's all I have, so that is what I'm going to try. Um, even if it's not exactly made for it, one volley should not hurt it, being that it is modern steel. This is a nice little gun. I hope you can see it completely from there. Uh, in order to open it up, you pull up on the uh, sides of the rear sight here like this. The rear sight is not adjustable. You pull it up, uh, it auto ejects or should auto eject. You see the, it, the star ejector comes up like that. Um, some of the shell casings get caught, but if I auto ejected it like that, with the muzzle up and the rear of the chambers down, it'd probably come right out. It uh, can be fired single action 
or as I said, it can be fired double action. It's a really nice little piece of history here, and I think this is going to be a keeper. Sell some of the other guns I've got recently to uh, make up paying for this one.